people in there to see if you really want it. You know, I mean, do you, do you truly believe what you're saying? I think that's why these guys come in your life to try to derail you from your 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 path. You know, and if I see that as uh, as whatever, you know, I don't, I don't. You just because you feel that way doesn't mean it's going to happen to me. You know. Yeah. And I've always been that way, oh man. That's how it's best to do things yourself. Because if you tell someone your dreams and ambitions, they've not got the same focus or yeah. vision, so they speak you out of it. Yeah. yeah. They can't see it. Yeah. They can't see what you're, what, what you're saying. You're telling them, oh, let's say like, open a business. But they, they, they're all the negative reasons why you can't open a business. So, so, so saying, oh, yeah, if you, if you try this and do yeah. this and help you with it, which is it's, it's the way the world, the world is, you know. Yeah. I think that's why you got to be solid mentally. And, um, stay focused on what you want to do. Um, put a plan towards it and achieve it. Everything's about risk. That's it. Somebody's got to be world champion. That's Somebody's it. got to be the biggest podcast. Why not me? Why not yeah. you? You know? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Man, it's going to happen. You know? And like I said, I can tell from the way you were that you're, yeah. you're serious about your thing. And so am I, you know? And why can't we be, let's say, for the next Joe Rogan and next yeah. world champion? Would happen, yeah. Exactly. Why not? You've got to believe. But I just want a bit of freedom. I want to be happy, but able to travel as well and meet yeah. great people. And yeah. Do you know what? I'm actually doing that, but I don't feel as if I'm there yet yeah, because yeah. I've become greedy to that. What bigger it more? Yeah, yeah. Which is good though. Yeah. Good to have, you know. That wanting more, and even though you, you achieved so far great stuff, you always gonna want more, you know, which yeah. is which is good. But you can't let it be your main. You can't put your happiness into it. In it. You know, like, yeah. I don't map this into the belt, you know, but I'm going to achieve the belt. I know yeah. I'm going to achieve the belt. To get some happiness as well. I think it's going to be strength for my happiness. But I'm going to get it, yeah. you know, but I don't like, if I don't get it, I won't be really, like, devastated. You know, I, I won't get it, you know. That division, the belt will make the division solid. Yeah. The money fight, Conor McGregor, there's a chance that he would never come up or you go down for that big money fight as well. Um, the possibility, the possibility to it, you know, I feel like I'm, I'll be too big for him now, you know. I'm like a natural waterway, I don't kind of thought like a natural waterway, you know. Every time I thought the waterway, it's a cool. bad way to go on for, it's never been like a waterway, you know. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a possibility. Hello! That's the biggest thing you can have. Yeah, yeah. that's the biggest thing you can have. Yeah, that's the biggest thing you can have. Yeah, that's the biggest thing you can have. Yeah, that's the biggest thing you can have. Because he's called him, yeah, uh, as well. Yeah, I think. But if you get that bell, he calls you, man. Yeah, we'll get it. That, that's there. We've got the same manager as well. We've got the same management team as well. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think. I don't think. Yeah, no, so no. Everybody always mentions that, right? UFC. What yeah. do you think he's fighting next week coming up? Do you think he'll win? Um, yeah. Um, if you made the right adjustments, it depends, you know, it's a bit like 100 million. And, Difficult to know. Give me hundred million. <laughs> I'm yeah. dead, you know. <laughs> I've seen it. 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 I've I love to see fucking you know. amazing what he's done, yeah, man. Yeah, he's yeah, like not people like talk shit about him and say that he's cocky, blah, blah, blah. That's just pure jealousy. Everybody would know. want what he's doing. Exactly. You know, no, I mean, that's what everyone's working towards. Exactly. exactly. He's exactly. done it. He's, the guy done it in the space of five, six years. Obviously, he can have yeah, yeah, yeah. but he didn't create whiskey business. Yeah, he's yeah, clothing yeah. brands. Fucking, he's got gym. Yeah, gym yeah, stuff, food, but I respect that massively. He's a massive name. I think he should be dusted out. If he's focused, if he comes in like... That's today's then I think that's the main symbol. When his focus is good, yeah. Yeah, he's unbelievable. Yeah. Listen, people forget that he was two world champion the first yeah, time in the yeah, UFC. Exactly. That. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then he, he, you could see the mobility, you could see the way he was moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a you know, different like person. Level. Yeah, and then when the money comes in, and then taking a year out, man. two year out, but how, how hard would it be when you've got a son and a daughter now? You've got your son to get to a certain level, so yeah. you made a few million. <laughs> Then, but listen, give anyone 100 million in yeah. the bank. It's going to be hard to fucking get the same person. Yeah, I'll probably back when you're here, mate. Because I'm going to be on the podcast right now. Fuck it. It's going to be difficult to get the same person, you know. So, it looks like we're down to everybody. All these shit that we're talking. Fuck everybody. Hey, man, that's, that's like people like Mayweather, yeah. People like that. They're like hundreds of millions, yeah. millions of millions in his career. And they're still focused. Never forget a day in his life. 
it's like it's a way that they, they, they were playing for you now so anybody can get there you can anybody can get well I, I don't flash your eyes to be that wealthy yeah, yeah. I believe I could men that yeah. fuck you up man like, but I don't know man do you ever do you ever worry that your fire could go out or it's like fight wise and um, eventually it's gonna like, like it's like anyone you know eventually you, you get to an age where you want to compete you know and, um in any in in sport, fight, fight, sport is a, it's a short career, you know. So it's right, it's, it's good now to make the right investments and um, right connections now, you know. So when you do retire from the sport, uh, I can, I'm still doing well off, you know. How many years do you think do you want to give up? Um, I'm 29 now, so five uh, years. Uh, five. Yeah. five. Um, that's no prize. Probably late phase. Late phase. You want to go 38, 39? I think no, the people will go. Um, yeah, difficult to quit. To quit, yeah, exactly. If you want to want to title 29 30, yeah, yeah, true. Then you're quite yeah. the, the, the yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, true. 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 Yeah, I won't hang around to get like knocked out by young guys, you know, like yeah. so there will come a time that's I'm making the right choices now in my life and doing the right things now so I can I can walk away um, comfortably, you know. I think the reason why people stay around um support or fight game is because even though even the Lord went on his young party and then like, enjoying life and then that old oh shit, I need money, you know, to, to, to carry on my life and they wanna stay in longer, you know, so uh, yeah, I think long as we're right decisions now. So I'll be able to, to make good investments. That's quite like, yeah. It's great money in UFC now. It's not like back five years ago, ten years ago. You look at some of the greats who fought then, they're saying for the buttons. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, I believe the UFC fighters are still underpaid. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, and I think that probably will change. I know a lot of people have been speaking out lately that I think John Jones, and that's one mega money for the yeah. fight, but in right with so much. Yeah, it's so you should, you know. I think you've been life at risk. You should get paid for it, you know. I think... Um, with, with, with the with the UFC, because the new sport is like it's like been like 25, 30 years old. So I think it's still kind of like figuring out how uh, how I was done. Now I think that when the NBA first started, NFL in America it was the same kind of thing. The guards was low paid and there was like a blackout, and you had to like change the structure of the paycheck. You know, I think like it has to be like all 20 percent go to the athletes. You know, and I think in the UFC it's, it's the opposite. You know, it's, it's different. So. We'll see. Yeah, because it's using the guys that are putting their life on the line. Life and life for it, you know. You're still getting paid for them, you're still working for a corporation. Yeah, that's, yeah. Like you say, still trying to figure it out, but I think if enough people come forward and speak, yeah. then they will start making it because it's a fucking billion dollar yeah. company. It's only up there for like four, four billion, I think yeah. it was. Five, four, Billion, so it's only there. Fucking money, money there, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But yeah. um, I think of eventually. Um, I don't think in my lifetime it will change drastically, but it will change. But eventually, I think it'll be. Um, it's a growing sport. It's one of the most popular sports in the world right now, and um, it will definitely change. What about who would you love to fight? I know you want it's been for the belt, but is there any get any? Um, fight I'm about about GS, GSP, you know, like for what weights? Is that the Legend, yeah, he's like a legend. Think I'll have a fight again, though. Mm. He beat this man. He came back like a couple years ago and beat this me, you know. So, um, I don't think none of the UFC for those, you know. I think I'm probably like trying to YouTube box it out and one of those. I don't know why people hate on people that do, that do good, you know, I don't care. 
You do your thing and I'll do my thing now. Yeah, see, I'm the same. I see it as opportunity. Yeah, I'm trying, I, don't, I think that, it's been more eyes as well to boxing, yeah. I think, you know. I think boxing have kind of died out a little bit. I think you've got me now starting to say it's come, becoming a laughing stock because yeah. there's so many of these fights now. Yeah. And it's been getting boring. Like, I want to see Joshua in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fury fight, I, I like the big fights. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's difficult. I just don't feel as if they get made as fast as the UFC. Yeah, you've got yeah, one yeah, belt, yeah, yeah. the best fight, the best. I feel like it's killing boxing now. The one, the one division is like six different belts. So you don't know who the champion is. You don't know. It's difficult to understand, you know. Which is UFC, like I said, is on one belt. So you, you know exactly who the champion is. You know the group, the ranking system. So you know who should go next. And so it's a. I think it's like it's, like it's a new sport, but it's all the kids now that I know is going into MMA. You know, like back in there when I was young, all the kids are going to like boxing, football, and different stuff. You know, so um, I think for, for MMA, the next like 20, 30 years, um, it's going to be a huge sport. Where do you go from here, brother? What's the plans for the future? Obviously, world title, right? Hopefully, this year starting next year. But what's the plans? Where do you go? Is it just um right now? Well, my goal in my career was um, my, my, my plan is to be world champion by um, end of this year, early early next year. You know? um, by March, I'll be world champion. Um, and then from there, um, I want to be going out with the greatest of all time to ever do it, you know. Um, and just that's, that's my goal. I'll focus um, goal at a time. The first goal is to be world champion, then I'll, I'll, I'll go from there and recalculate and see, see, see what's next, you know. And like I said, Made the right investments, more money, and um, yeah, just enjoy life with my family and my friends. Do you ever rest? Um, yeah, for sure. For sure, sure yeah. 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 Can you rest though? Um, Seems like kind of guy who's got. <laughs> no, I try and I try and even like now I'm meant to be having like time off, but I'm still like I train once a day, you know. I'm, like, I, I enjoy it. Like, if I don't train, I feel horrible. My body feels shit. My mental my mentality feel like, like like shit, you know. So I enjoy like even like running, just go for a run. It doesn't feel like a hard session. We go for a lot of, like a lot, like a jog and um, get a bit of pads, a bit of bag work. Just nothing, not, nothing heavy, but, but I like to sweat. I like to do something, you know, and just work towards the goal every day. And I think if you want to be great, you have to you have to work towards it every day. You know, you can't just think, oh, you know, what one week I'm gonna party, one week I'm gonna train. You never achieve it, you know. And just just work towards it day by day, one goal at a time, and look around in ten years time, you fucking. You achieve greatness now. Yeah. See, because you've been through so much trauma as well, did you ever go and speak to anybody, like a counsellor or therapist? Um, never, and I should have. <laughs> 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 fucking need to, but I, I, I have it. I have it, you know. Yeah. Even some of the shit I've told, like, my, my exes and, like, my... Um, um, it's different, like, you know. Yeah. I just can't get it, you know. Like, I mean, it was normal, though. Like, I've seen like people been shot and all that, you know. It's, it's fucked like, up. See, I've never seen anybody yeah, yeah. I've always yeah, killed family members and friends to murder. that. And it just feels drink. fucking like when you have a discussion with my friends, it seems normal, but the more I'm speaking to people and interviewing people, I'm starting to think <laughs> maybe I'm a little fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way, you know, like some shit is like like you like girls always always tell me like you know you got no emotions, you know, because it's like I don't see what they see, see as emotional. Emotional is not, you know, but yeah, it is. I definitely yeah. want to speak to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I can watch people <laughs> fight like fuck. I've seen a lot of bad shit in my life. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you become cold towards it, but then I can watch, I can listen to a song on the radio and start crying. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got that kind of, that kind of emotions in me. Yeah, but would you ever go and see him someday? But um, do you think that can maybe, I wouldn't say, change as a fighter, but then maybe lose that kind of, you kind of got like a barrier up where you just solid, if you know what I mean? Um, yeah. You break um, it all down, you might get in the ring and just want to start cuddling yeah. someone. <laughs> <laughs> balance. <laughs> I got a balance. Yeah. Now, um, I, I know for about it. I know, I, I know for about it. It's kidding me. You know, it doesn't affect my personal life. It doesn't affect me in my career. So, uh, I don't know for about it, to be honest. Yeah. I yeah. think... You're on a great path anyway, you're doing the right things, you're not, you're very humble, very well spoken, you're just doing you, you're leaving a legacy for not just yourself but for your son and other people to look up to you and go, I'm going to do that, if you can do it, anybody can do it, and what that does is leaves a blueprint, yeah. you've got this thing in that world title, Dan Tolls yourself, got a big big Paul Craig from Scotland, I hope he gets maybe a title shot next year, he's flying as well, that. Yeah. there's people there, well, even though violence doesn't solve anything but it's the training, 
the exercise to battle, balance the mindset yeah. to then feeling good and then get into a, a normal like, all the gangsters I speak to every fucking one you probably only get two or three yeah. we get into a ring and fight something yeah, the rest yeah. just all talk shit we still use weapons and talk yeah, shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Our bow, not yeah. we're the one <laughs> They do, they talk shit, but why? Because they're weak, they're yeah. scared. People yeah. always ask me the question, do you ever get scared? I say no, because what I see is weakness. Yeah. A person who owns a gun or a knife is yeah, a weak yeah, man. Yeah, they're weak as fuck. Well. They're so broken within, yeah, yeah. they don't want to feel pain anymore. Yeah, so they'll yeah. hold a weapon to try and protect themselves. But anybody that goes into a boxing ring, yeah. for any sort of fucking martial arts or yeah. whatever it is, any combat sport, they're tough bastards. Yeah, yeah. I used to train in a gym in Glasgow called the Grip House. Looking at the people who fought there, you would never think anything of it, but they would fucking tear you apart because they were so nice and humble. Yeah, so like yeah. All my friends. Which is mad, you know, because I got yeah. guys in the gym the same way, but on the street, they're like, what's this? You that, yeah. you're, fucking, you're a good fighter. Yeah. Why are you so scared of confrontation outside the gym, you know? Which is it's like a weird thing. I don't what, know. Why is that? I don't know. I always wonder, like, it's weird, you know? Like, some kind of sick fighters in the gym, but on the street, like, yeah. a, a guy could come and, like, bully them, and I was like, like, you. You can battle room like what you're doing, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is, like a weird mentality, you know. It's, it's because they're so good, but they're it's smart, they're so humble. Yeah, they don't yeah, need yeah. to prove anything. To prove it, yeah. It's the ones who want to fight and shout. I, I see weakness. The loud ones, yeah. yeah. It's yeah, the loudest, yeah, yeah. it's the weakest. Nah, for all, for all, I, I believe that as well. Yeah. But I think, like, for, for me, I think my upbringing helped me with my fighting career, you know. If I was like, um, the, the no fit aspect of it and seeing a man as a man, you know. I don't really see, I don't really build him up to be something that is not, you know. I've been in many situations where, where you have to rely on yourself, you know, and I think that's what helped me in my, in my fight career, where you have, to, you have to rely on yourself and um, believe in yourself that you you are who you say you are. Okay, it's just nothing to figure out if you ain't. Yeah. You know I mean, if you're really deep down your heart, you're not who you say you are, it's going to get figured out, you know. And like I said, I've, I've been in situations where I've proven to myself that I am who I, am, who I said I am, you know, and this is why I got, why I got my belief, and this is why I work so hard on where. Is why I'm at, at where I'm at, you know, because uh, I truly believe it, you know. Do you enjoy getting hurt? Nah, I don't know. No one enjoy getting hurt. Uh, you know, some, yeah. some people I've spoken to, Dan Tull loves that, he yeah, says. Yeah, yeah. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the bastard, he says. I don't think, I don't think, yeah. Have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, seen him on Facebook? Tell him how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, You've got to be psychotic, I yeah, believe, no, I don't to want to fight. Yeah, yeah, I love you. Even though you're psychotic, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You go into a ring. And be willing. Listen, it's life or death. Yeah. Do you have to switch off that like your mum's watching, your yeah, son's yeah, watching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all that's gone, you know. And what do you see when you see the guy? Um, kill. Mentality, like, I'm yeah. going to fuck you up. Yeah, that's it. I just see my future, you know. I think I, I have to get through you. I don't, I don't, I don't see him as a person, you know. I see him as like a. A bit of life, basically, you know. That is a fucked up mentality, you know. I don't, I don't see you as like a, a being, you know. I just see you as legs, arms, and body, you know. That's it. Another step to watch a goal. That's it. That's all I see as, you know. For anybody watching, brother, that's maybe thinking I can down a life of crime, or maybe it's in a life of crime, and it's they've still got a chance to get out. What advice would you have for them? Um, if you've got a chance to get out, then you should, you know. There's more, there, there's more to life than down the streets, you know, I've, like I said, I've, I've lived it, I've seen it, and I've, I've brought up in it, you know, the, the, the end to it is, it's a prison or death, you know, if you're really doing it, if you're really involved in it.
Thank you. 